lifestylepiano.com learn piano for free video series. Today we're going to be looking at the song My Grandfather's Clock and this is the last video in book one. So This is page 50 of Clear and Simple Chord Style Piano book one and that is available at chordstylepiano.com. My name is Jerry Baird and I have been teaching piano lessons since 2007. I have been playing in this chord piano style for more than a decade and I absolutely love it. I also play in a more classical style using note reading. I do both and the combination is unbeatable. So let's look at the chords in this song. My grandfather's clock, we have a G chord, a D7 chord, a C chord, and as we scroll down here we can see a new chord, A7. We also have just a D chord by itself. But let's look at this A7 chord since it's new. We have, let me zoom in a little bit there so you can see the notes a little bit better. So we have a C sharp with the fifth finger, a G with the second finger, and an A with the first finger. So let's look at that on the keyboard. Just for reference, this is middle C right here. So we go down an octave and we move up to C sharp. So we're here on the white key, that's a C. Move up to C sharp with the pinky. And the second finger plays G, the thumb plays A. There's our A7 chord C sharp, G, A. A7. Let's play a basic version of my grandfather's clock. did a little bit of melodic variation there and I'm gonna do that a little more now this is kind of a slower song so you can kind of have fun with the melody and just make it a little different it can be exactly what you want it to be or it can be exactly as it's written on the page or it can be something just a little more interesting a little more entertaining so let's take a look at my grandfather's clock with some melodic variations and we can be we can be crazy with those melodic variations or we can sort of be gentle with them and have just small changes to where you can still hear the song. Either way, both can create an interesting effect. One of the things I like to do is I play the song as it's written and then I'll play the sort of uh, second verse but I'll make it my own with some different melodic variations based on the scale. So we're still in the scale of G which means we have All the white keys except for F, and the F will be sharp. That's it for book one. I'm going to take a break and then be back with more videos. So stay tuned.